live. Welcome to the live stream. Uh, I know some of you might miss this live stream, so there might be a lot of you guys not watching it live. So continue, keep watching, comment at the end of the video if you watch the whole thing live. Uh, late live stream because I had a lot going on today. Today was busy. I had friends in town, and then I had a video, snowboard video premiere to go to, to like get exclusive premiere to it, and then give feedback to, about the movie, which was really cool. And then I had to get Bristol to fall asleep. Um, dude, Jordan, full blown evolution, let's go. Jordan, let's go, that's so exciting. Uh, Green Lava, what up? And um, the Bobby's sleeping, and Roman's iPad, we used all the internet on it. So I don't have uh, additional internet source for my computer, if you guys don't know, I do everything off a hotspot. So I'm, gonna, I'm using the iPad that has signal to read the chat today, should be good. It's gonna work. Um, and so just, you know, that's what I'm doing. And of course, like typical, or in typical, as normal, Daddy Dog, stealing the show, dude. Daddy Dog, thank you so much, man, for all the love and support that you always are dropping. First off, drop the $5 donation just saying hello. And then uh, renewed his membership, and then Daddy Dog was not done there. Daddy Dog was like, you know what? Why not a 50 bomb of this little wolf thing? What is that thing, cat? It's a Shiba Inu just jumping up and down. $50 donation, Daddy Dog. We appreciate you so much. Poor League Gorilla is here, but guys, Green Lava is here. What up? He said he almost missed it. Jordan's here at the Full Blown Evolution now. Daddy Dog is a skier. Jay Ellis is a snowboarder. Uh, Apples Alpine is a snowboarder. What up, guys? We should have new people on this live stream tonight because it's a late live stream. Um, we don't normally go this late unless we're on the West Coast. But uh, yeah, how we doing, guys? How we doing? We got Vince uh, or Vinny here. What up? uh he says love you jonathan i appreciate it appreciate the love. i can feel the love you guys are you guys are awesome uh bullet says hi uh anthony clark dude how you been says uh hope to see you in oregon man i really want to get to oregon in the winter i think it'd be really cool and tons of fun and then oh by the way uh the blue bar has the venmo stream labs if you drop a donation there uh just let me know that you dropped the donation um in the chat as well because it's not i'm not gonna be able to get notified because i can only run one thing on the ipad uh, so I appreciate if you if you do use Venmo and Streamlabs, that's the better spot to drop a donation because I get 100% of the dono. But if you drop it there, just let me know and then say like, yo, I dropped 10 on Venmo or five on Streamlabs and I can say thank you. And um, I just, uh, I apologize for the the weird setup today, but I, I feel like this is that bad. It looks, it looks like normal on your end. On my end, it ain't normal. We're using an iPad. Uh, Jason says, who's ready for some POW tracks? Can't wait. Oh yeah, that's a topic of today's live stream too is how to get fresh pow turns. I'm gonna give you guys all the tips, all the secrets. Obviously we get into the topic of the live stream once everyone decides to jump on. Drangic in the house, how we doing? He says, uh, he sends it. Oh, totally, Bullet says, you're awesome and an inspiration. I appreciate that. I love that you guys find inspiration and enjoyment in my videos. I put a lot of time and effort into bringing you guys not just content, but daily content. By the way, we are still posting uh, big snow videos. I still got big snow videos, which is kind of crazy. The vlog that would needs to post tomorrow, I have to film some stuff, but tomorrow's football day and I know we're gonna do football day. So I do have a reaction video that I might post instead of the last vlog at big snow, which big snow caught on fire, crazy. Um, hope that place is gonna, is good and can get back up and running and they, they don't take a big hit from it because big snow is so cool. Um, but yeah, Polly says, I'm a pow hunter. As soon as I get to on that lift. Oh, well, poorly, I agree. I love it. Go Pack Go, right? Uh, we should win on Sunday playing 49ers. Pfft, easy peasy. I think it's Sunday night. Micah, what up? Daddy Dog says, LOL. Jason, I need to watch that video, Jason, by the way. I, I know you sent me the photo of the stickers. I haven't looked at it yet. Um, I have been busy. I had a really busy day. That's why the live stream is at almost 9 o'clock. Jeez. But this time is when I, I got to sneak away from, well, I put the bed, the kids to bed a little early uh, so I could get to this. So Bristol and Roman are sleeping. Bobby went to bed too, but normally I'm with them till about 10. So I'm not that far behind on my normal activities, but we'll see how much energy we ex we use during this live stream. Jason says, hashtag old man gang still up. Can't finish my day without a new video, right? I'm sorry that the video is so late, but hey, we haven't missed a video in three years. Daily videos for three years straight. So we're gonna go live and it's gonna be nine o'clock when we go live. It still counts. It's not It's not one in the morning and uh, we got it. Have you ever tried Hoodoo in Bend 
It's Oregon. Are you saying hoodoo or voodoo, like voodoo donuts? I don't know what hoodoo is. I've heard of voodoo donuts. Uh, go to Utah for fresh pow turns. We had some sick pow turns in Utah, but I do think Colorado's got better pow. Um, Jonathan, sick name, says, I'm a ski instructor at Vikings, or a Vikings fan. Oh, man. And uh, old enough to be your father. I have no idea why I'm here. Because <laughs> we have the same name, man. Uh, hey, skiers and snowboarders can be friends. Uh, Packer and Vikings, can, we can't be friends there. Um, but being old enough to be my dad, that's okay. You can give me wisdom. Share your wisdom with me. And so I'll take that wisdom and share it with, with the rest. Dad Dog says, check your Venmo. I think you're... Dad, Dad, let me know what you dropped in the stream. I won't be able to check it because we're on the live stream. Because if I connect my phone, which is the only internet that we have at the moment, to the computer, we'll lose all the quality. Uh, so just let me know if you guys do use the Streamlabs or Venmo. Just let me know what you donated um, and say what you said. I'll get to all the chats tonight. I should. I'm going to do my best. So, um, but Dad, Dog, with another don't know. Is that what you're trying to say, Dad, Dog? Are you popping off? And then Adam says, I'm so hyped for the season. I was wearing my helmet and goggles watching your videos. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Uh, we all do it. We get a new pair of goggles. I got my pro model goggles. I was like, oh, let's try these on real quick. Put all my, like, my helmet, my face mask, everything on. And there's no stone. And you're like, it's, it's, is it wrong, but it feels right? I don't know. I'm ready. I, I, like I said, I went to a, a snowboard movie premiere is like a pre-premiere. I don't know what they call them. Like the first showing. So we go, we watch the snowboard video, and then you write like, what do you think needs to be fixed with it? Like, what what do you like most about it? Everything like that. And then you give the feedback to the to the editors, and then they can fix it up. It was really cool. Uh, Green Lava, do it. Check out Big Snow. It's super fun. Tuhudo? See, I don't know. I don't know who or ha, to hunt. Oh, I'm so confused. Colorado has the best pow. Eric, I agree. Out of every place I've ridden, got powder. Colorado seriously has the best powder. Hoodoo's a ski resort. Oh, see, it's pretty fun. Just kind of small, but family, uh, but a family favorite. Oh, dude, I love I love small resorts. A small resort. You, don't worry about me about ripping a small resort. I'm so down. 255 and a... Did Daddy Dog say he dropped two hundo on... He dropped a two hundo Streamlabs donation, Daddy Dog? Get out of here, dude. On top of the 50? Daddy Dog, dude, we appreciate you so much, man, supporting the dream. Whenever someone who's inc as incredible as Daddy Dog drops donations like he does... I always tell you guys this, like he might've dropped a $200 dono and it comes to me, but I take that money and I put it directly back into this channel, guys. So thank you so much. Like we got Cody already here working. Um, he's grinding rails right now. That's like what he's on task, but he's like in, Cody's in full blown training stage. I'm teaching like that dude so much about editing and um, just making stickers and stuff. Follow the Instagram, it's pretty fun. He's also kind of running the Team Huckhouse Instagram page, which is fun. Cody's doing a good job. Austin says, Utah pow all day. That's why the license plate says, greatest snow on earth. <laughs> oh, we did have an incredible, we went to Powder Mountain and had a powder day and it was, it was dope. Stoke Dog, how you been? Coming in with the, ew. Portly, cheers. It was not a Teton gravity film. That would be sick, Jordan. Uh, the first rule of Utah Pow is you don't you do not speak of Utah Pow. <laughs> don't let everyone know about how sick Utah is. Uh, Washington State has the snow. They just need better resorts. I I hear I haven't had I oh I did get powder in Washington. It wasn't it wasn't bad. I messed with the iPad so I can see everything. Uh, Green Lives to Jonathan. I put my snowboard on my electric longboard at a. <laughs> Uh, and I shred the main street and I got to order a kind of optics. I'm so excited to get them. Dude, green lava. That's so sick. You put your snowboard on your electric longboard and you rip around. That's actually pretty sick. You should film that. Austin, dude, thank you so much for the $2 donation. Says just booked a trip to Whistler. Congratulations. That's sick. I cannot wait to get to Whistler. I, 
haven't been, but I want to like, if I'm doing Whistler, I'm doing like four days at Whistler. Um, it's going to be a week, four days. It's got to be a big trip. trip. Um, and then uh, Trujillo says, it's just all nap, nap park and forest service. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Breezy, what up? And then uh, Vinny says, did Hood buy the other resorts on top or did they already own it? Did Hood? I think Timberline bought the little one that's at the rest station and they're gonna put in this massive gondola that goes from the like uh, government camp to um, Timberline and then they'll put more parking in is what I think is what they're doing. Dog says, uh, you better than me. I lost my mind so long, uh, such a long time ago. Dog, Dog, we've all lost our minds. Possibly. Uh, Jason says, can, uh, can you explain the four plus minute ad to come up with the explain the special day? And, uh, and then after I usually skip to show you explaining a snowboard day. Okay. So the ad that you guys are seeing in front of my videos, uh, Trailer Tom did that. He started his uh, YouTube channel. Check out his channel. Um, he's, that's the channel running the ad, so click into the ad. Um, awesome dude. He's also who had the snowboard premiere tonight. Um, he's gotten us for first day at Keystone twice, or, or first chair at Keystone twice. We've done opening a, a day at Eldora there. And Tom's uh, starting, a. he's doing a lot of really cool stuff. One is getting his uh, YouTube channel going, but also um, he's like writing a book. And he's coming out with a movie. He's doing a lot and he's always done a lot with snowboarding. So check him out. He's a really awesome guy. He's been snowboarding for years. He has tons of cool stories. And uh, he was like, hey, I'm gonna try running ads. He's like, I'm gonna do this video. And I was like, dude, that's so cool. Like, go for it. I didn't know he was gonna put the ads on my videos, which is fine. But yeah, I've been getting a lot of questions about the ads running in front of my videos. Boy, he says, we get a ton of snow, just really wet. That's why you need some thick skis. Yeah, the wet Sierra cement and stuff. I'm not a big fan of thick pow. Uh, Bullet, have a good night. So that you're enjoying the videos. Uh, Austin says, Idaho has some sick pow too, but you gotta have a sled to get to the best parts of it. Ooh, Austin. I've never been to, I, only, I have really snowboarded in Idaho. I'd like to get up there. I have no idea where we're going this season, guys. I really have no idea, but we're gonna send it. Yeah, they're planning a gondola to connect. Um, government camp to Timberline. Idaho doesn't actually is exist. I know Idaho is pretty pretty, especially at the very top, like the panhandle of Idaho is very beautiful. Question of the day. Uh, you said October. When do the goggles go live? Ooh, daddy dog with the real questions. Uh, it's not up to me. It's it's literally up to when Kuno Optics finishes the their, their everything on their end. Like the goggles are real. I wrote them. You guys have seen snippets of them. You haven't seen them truly though. If you think you know what they look like, you have no idea what these goggles look like. That's what I, that's what I'm so excited about with them. Um, and so I'm waiting for the it's live. I also have to finish my release video, which is I have the idea. It's in my head. I've sat and daydreamed about it. I have to write the script and record the the script and then start putting together the edit. It's big, big stuff, guys. I'm really excited. I th like this is so fun. The fact that like promo goggles are coming out, things like that. But once again, I partnered with another company, so a lot of the timing and things is not up to me. I I really wish I could be like, oh, this date and this money. They're like, we are not totally sure on the final quantity and we don't know have the exact date yet. But they're in in production. They're gonna happen. So I'm like, okay. Here we go. But dude, pro model goggles, 100% happening this year. Austin says, I've been uh, once before. I think my favorite resort I've written was at, was written at over 30. I don't know what that means. Santana says, Jonathan Buckhouse. What's up, bro? What up, man? I had to throw the last name in there. 
Boy, da, 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 da. Uh, Dad Dog says, definitely buying a pair. Heck yeah, Dad Dog. Everyone should buy a pair. The limited edition, first ever pro model thing I've ever released. And if you believe in me and you think this thing's going far, it's gonna be many more pro model stuff to come and you will have the first of it, piece of it type thing, which is really, really cool. Oh, I just, oh, we got 31 people, 32 people in the chat and 19 likes. There's a lot of people in the chat that haven't smashed that like button yet. What's going on? We have a rule here. We need more likes than people watching the, the live stream. So if we guys can, we, if we can correct that real quick, I appreciate it. What is the best resort in Colorado? Ooh, I I haven't ridden them all, so I can't truly answer that. Because I'm I have I Crested Butte's gonna be amazing. Aspen is gonna be amazing. Um, but where I've been out of all the car resorts that I've been, my favorite, and it doesn't help that I've had like the sickest days there, was Telluride. Telluride was really, really cool. But I don't have that true answer yet. Once we've ridden, that's the other thing is once we've ridden all the resorts in Colorado, I'm gonna make Colorado's best ski resort, like the top five ski resorts in Colorado. We're gonna make that. Mm -mm -mm. Are the new Kuno Octa goggles you've been wearing in the recent videos going to be available to buy? Yes, yes they are. Uh, those are the pro model ones, by the way. <laughs> Breezy says wet pow all day. Uh, do you have a video on what your first season progression was like? Ooh. So Jimmy, uh, I don't have the full uh, ability of my computer I would share for you. But if you want to see like my first snowboard edit I've ever made, uh, go to my page. So I click my name, Jonathan Buckhouse, go to videos and then sort it by oldest content. So it's like a little tab that just says like oldest video. And you can watch the, the first six videos I put on this channel were just like season edits for me just snowboarding. And I didn't even like want to do YouTube. I just needed the place to put my season edits. Um, that's my first snowboarding. And then you can go watch my first snowboard videos or like the first vlogs. Live stream yawn. You guys knew it was going to happen. Um, Hey, go watch my, my, like, season one, day one is the first snowboard vlog I made. And then you can literally watch the progression of how I not only got the channel to this size, but how I got comfortable talking to a camera, how I got better at editing, how I've discovered the vision of this channel and where we're going and what we're doing. And, like, you can literally go watch all of that if you want to. If you have the time, you have the energy, and you want to binge watch a lot of old, cringy Jonathan Buckhouse videos, you can totally go do that. Jordan says, have you, have you ever actually met someone from Idaho? Just L Stacker, and L Stacker is the man. <laughs> Carla, how we doing? Andy, what up? Michigan for sure is the next stop. Michigan is that gotta happen. You guys, Michigan wants us there. We gotta get there. Uh, Switzerland Resorts in North Idaho is Dope Mountain. It's on Icon this year. Great views. Ooh, do I gotta, we gotta get in there. I will, you guys will know. You guys will 100% know when you can get a pair of those goggles. You guys will all know. Love the two-part video. Oh, you liked that I split the vlog of. I'm sorry that you actually liked that. Uh, Jane says, goggle flex, they're so sick, right? I'm so hyped on the goggles. One, two, three, four, fast car says, I got the icon and epic. Where do you think you would be the best to start shredding? I live in Denver, so we'll get ready early to be up the traffic. So the uh, further reasons or resorts aren't off limits. Any tips? Okay, so I would say obviously Keystone's gonna open first, so go to Keystone, and then Eldora will open up pretty soon or pretty early too. So check out Eldora. Um, but I mean, yeah, checking out Eldora and Winter Park isn't bad for your icon and then you got copper. So I would do like, Eldora is a small ski resort, just so you know. So like you do Eldora, Winter Park is a pretty big one. Um, copper. Don't check out Breck until like May, you know, but Breck's going to stay open. Like 
um, all of April, most of May. So check out Breck late season. There's no reason to rush there during the mid season. Uh, on Saturdays and Sundays, go ride Vail and Beaver Creek. They're like, especially Beaver Creek is a little less busy if you're driving up from Denver. Um, it's a different crowd there. Steamboat, if you really want to get a drive on, go to Steamboat. How do you feel, uh, goggles fit on people with small child side faces too big? Um, I don't think I have a big face. They fit me pretty good. Benton doesn't have a big face. They fit him. That's a... Ailey K, I think they fit small faces pretty good. Dad dog, screaming underwater is a true skill. I've never been to Silver Mountain. Kuno Optics um, are coming in tomorrow, and I know I'm going to play with the Magnix, or the Magnix all day. It's kind of fun playing with the Magnix on the, uh, the Magnetic Goggles. It's super fun. Gavin says, I honestly thought you were doing an actual stream on the hill. We did that. We did that big snow. That was a ton of fun. We'll try and do more. Have you ever been to Silver Star in Vaughn? I've never been to Canada, Gavin. I need to get up to Canada. I haven't left the U.S. I mean, I left when I was two years old, but that doesn't really count. Uh, da -da -da -da. Jason says, some of the best fresh power turns I've ever came for or had come from hiking a little off trail, floating through the trees. Jason, you're not wrong. It's time. It's time. We've got 31 people here. We've been live for 20 minutes. Let's talk about it. How do we get fresh power turns? Okay. We're going to go through tons of options for you. You got to pick the one that best works for you. But sometimes you got to pick the one that best works for the day because not every single day you show up, you're going to get pow. Okay. Uh, Dad Dog coming in with their, their real answer. If you want fresh pal turns, uh, Japan. Go to Japan. All right, Dad Dog. We all can't get to Japan. Let's be real. Japan would be, is the dream for all snowboarders. Um, first way to get fresh pal turns is show up to the mountain early, you know, on a powder day. Get there two hours before it opens. Try and get be one of the first people off the chairlifts and you'll probably get two or three runs of fresh pow. Especially on a bigger resort, especially like Vail. Um, one of the nice things about Vail is if you get there early, you can start making your way down the bowls and, and, and you can go down a certain path that lets you get fresh turns, fresh turns, fresh turns, and then you're in the back, you rip the back a couple times, gets tracked out, and then you kind of make your way back to the front um, and you can kind of catch some, it's not as fresh, but it get, still get some lines. Um, another way to get fresh pow turns is if you really know a mountain, like at Keystone, I can go to Keystone any time of the day. If it's a powder day, I'm going to get fresh pow turns because I know certain spots that are like tricky to get to and you got to like, it's a lot of traversing, but once you get there, it's, it's money. Uh, you gotta be careful with that though. You never want to go out of the skier boundaries, things like that, but really exploring and learning a mountain will help you find fresh pow turns. Um, the other. Other options, and it, it sucks because sometimes these, these things cost money. Uh, cat tours. If you can get on a snow cat and do a cat tour, you can get some fresh lines that way. Um, obviously, heli snowboarding is a great way to get fresh pow turns. That's very expensive. Split boarding slash hiking. If you want to put a little extra work, like uh, Jason said, if, you, if you're riding a bowl and you want some fresh pow turns, if you got off the chairlift and you mean to go down the run, well, you just did what 90% of everyone else is doing. You unstrap and hike up and you go up that 10%, the, the snow that you're going to be riding will be better. Uh, putting in a little bit of work is never a bad thing. Um, it's, this is a little dangerous. Make sure you have the proper gear. Make sure you have the proper education. The backcountry is an incredible spot to get like true untouched lines all day, all the time. Uh, you guys got to be very careful. Avalanches are a real thing and they kill people. Uh, trees don't move either. And... Uh, do, 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 do. Really, if you really want fresh power turns, it's all about waking up early. Get up early, get to the mountain hours before they open, you'll get fresh and fresh pow, pow turns. Um, if you live in Denver, that means like, yo, get up there the, the day before, sleep in your car. That's what I would do when I lived in Colorado Springs. I drive up the day before, sleep, sleep in my car. <sighs> do the live stream yawns, can't stop them. I'd sleep in my car so I could get to the mountain early and rip, and it was a blast. Anyone else have any of their, like, their tips? What's your tip for getting fresh pal turns? Um, what, once again, like, I try to avoid where everyone else is going. You know what I'm saying? So if, if it's like, 
we all went up the lift and we all got off. Where did everyone go? If you go the opposite direction, obviously you're gonna get fresh patterns. The other thing too is, um, sometimes think of the mountain like, okay, the front half of the mountain is gonna get tracked out first. And then if there's like a keystone, there's different peaks. So you can do like one run down the front and then get to the back. Um, and you'll will have better to get one fresh run in the front then you get to the back and you'll get still a fresh run, not the like that, like untouched, but like work your way back and dude, it's awesome. Hunter, we might get to Tahoe this year. You might. Ah, dude, I can't. It's for me, dude, sitting in a seat, I'll turn the lights off. You ever see how the studio, how it really looks uh, with everything down, man? It's so comfy in here. Oh, dude, last night, so obviously it's not tonight, last night was rough. Roman's had a stomach issue. He woke up like four times. Bristol woke up. I did not get any sleep last night. We had company in town too, so we were up at like seven. Rick, man, how you been, Rick? Just so you guys know, if you've dropped a Venmo or a Streamlabs donation, just let me know that you dropped that donation because uh, I'm using the iPad to read the chat today because I, we ran out of... We ran out of uh, hotspot um, on the other devices, so we need we need the first to come quick. So I'm using the iPad's just cell phone service. It's working. This this chat's working. It's just I can't check Venmo or Streamlabs, sadly, or we'd lose all of our uh, quality. In the northeast, you got to hike out of bounds. Uh, into the trees to get fresh turns. Oh man, that's a bums. Vinny says the best fresh pal was taking the T-bar up at Copper and had pal line to my knees. Dude, Vinny, you're lucky, man. Copper's horrible on a powder day. It's my least favorite mountain to ever snowboard on a powder day. I'd rather go anywhere else. Jordan with this dude, Jordan's such a troll sometimes. He says, if you don't like Mexican food, I don't want to taco about it. <laughs> taco. Oh, uh, Shyler says snowmobile, uh, snowmobile. I'm, I'm about it. We got to get a snowmobile. Is Steamboat good for pow? Steamboat's like mainly good for pow. I wouldn't say it's not, um, I would say it's not as, Steamboat's mainly for best for pow. It's got an okay park. The runs are, Okay, it's got some good tree riding, but like you go to Steamboat for powder. Cindy says, hey, Jonathan, how are you doing? It's been a while. Work got busy, dude. It's all good. Work gets busy. I I told guys, I get it. I get busy. There's a lot of things that I don't get to check up on or do. Like Jason not only sent me this awesome video about my, like microphones on the mountain, but he also sent me, he put... Uh, the evolution sticker on his airplane, which is so cool. I didn't even check that. I just haven't had time. I'm busy. I'm gonna get to you, Jason. I promise. Yeah, Steamboat's powder is really light and fluffy, and it's, it, it is different. Steamboat's got some good power. What's the best mountain in Summit County for powder? Oh, that's so hard. I would say I would. If I woke up and I was like, I'm going to get a powder day and it, it's not going to be busy. I'm going to get as many fresh turns as I want. I would go to a basin. Um, then Breck. Then Keystone. Uh, I don't know about Breck. Maybe Keystone, then Breck. Uh, Copper would be on my last. Loveland's really fun on a powder day. Um, Copper would be on my last. I'd rather go to... At this point, I'd rather go to Ski Cooper than Copper. Yeah, if you can go on weekdays, that's the other thing. Another way to get good powder is to go on a weekday. So I can't get rid of them. I'm chugging this monster. I apologize. Bristol turned, say Saturday. Bristol's three months old, guys. Three month old baby. She's awesome. She, Bristol has this thing where she only goes to sleep now for me which is tough. It's gonna make Charlie hard, but I love it at the same time too. Cause she's like, I need my dad to go to bed. I'm like, what up girl? Come here. I'm a little squish. Uh, one, two, three, four fast car says, uh, where can you car camp? I have a Jeep 
So totally want to. If you want a car camp, Loveland Pass is in a bad spot. Um, there's a rest area on I-70 between Silverthorne and Copper. And then there's a Walmart. I used to just park in the McDonald's parking lot and sleep when I would car camp. Oh, Carvin Bushy, the man, he drew another insane photo of the whole family this time, dude. Tip number one, don't live in New York if you want fresh pal. It's not, not bad. Drop a C note. What's, this? What's a C note? Master Chief. I do, guys, I got to figure it out. There's a new Halo coming out November 8th. Was it November or December 8th? There's a new Halo coming out. I'm a diehard Halo fan. Like, be, I have a helmet of Master Chief right there. I'm a diehard Halo fan. And I don't have internet for Halo. I have to figure that out. I don't know what to do, guys. I would, I, I could, I could drop this channel and just make video game content is how much I love video games and stuff. And I haven't, I haven't gamed in months. We've, since we moved in here, I haven't played video games. I like purposely, I knew we were moving here. We were going to have internet. So like the last two nights in the last place when we had internet, I like had two good nights of Halo playing. Like on the Master Chief collection is awesome. Yeah. Why is copper so bad on a pow day? It's just, it's not steep terrain. Like, I don't know, I really struggle with copper on a pow day. Park right by Loveland Resort, too. Yeah, if you parked on Loveland Pass, you're right by Loveland Resort. Do you ride Timberline a lot? I ride Timberline a lot in the summer. 100 is C note, LOL. Rick, I'm confused. 100, what's this? What's a C note? But yeah, we ride Timberline a lot in the summer. We will make a trip out there this winter. We might move to Oregon if it's dope in the winter. Best spot, spot at Keystone for Pow Day. I mean, if you can get it to the Outback and it's not crazy busy, that's not bad. But dude, on the way to the Outback, you can ride so many insane trees. Um, I wish I could explain it, but I really like the windows. Windows are one of my favorite things to ride on Pow Day. A Sino is $100. Rick, you dropped $100? On, um, I think you use Streamlabs. Thank you so much for that donation, Rick. You're the man. Rick really is the man. Appreciate all the... Dude, Rick, you support so hardcore, man. Where are you now? Did you... By the way, how was your, your week off? You took some time off of work, dude. How was it? And then, best spot at Keystone for Pow Day. Oh, I already answered that one. So look at me. Oh, see, everyone's saying a hundy. Dude, Rick, you're nuts. Dropping a hundred dono? Appreciate you, bro. What's your opinion on mountains in Idaho? I've only rode Bogus Basin on a hike day. They had no, like, they only had enough snow for a hike park. We went and rode it. It was a blast. But I don't, yeah, I don't know. On, dude, Rick, thank you so much for the hundred dollar donation on Venmo, man. Rick is, you're so awesome, dude. But yeah, Rick, did you enjoy your time off? I know you took some time off. I don't know if I got to ask you if you enjoyed it. And then, uh. Where are you now? Because Rick, tra Rick travels more than I travel. And Cindy says, cannot uh, wait for the new season. Uh, mine starts in December, or December 3rd, can't wait. Oh, December 3rd, man. That's a bummer, man. Ah. I feel bad for everyone that their season starts in December. It makes me sad. Our season starts in October out here. So then you miss all of November. Our season started in November last year and it killed me. Like lost a whole month of snowboarding. What's the best mountain on the East Coast? J1, I haven't ridden all the East Coast ones yet. Uh, also, the East Coast has so many ski resorts. I don't know if you can pick just the best one. Out of all the ones that I've been to though, my favorite on the East Coast so far has been Killington 
insane. Did you, we get snow in Summit County last week? Nick, we did not get snow. Someone was saying we're supposed to get on Monday. We're supposed to get like six inches. We didn't get six inches. It's okay. The weather's been nice and we've been able to, and then when I say we, Cody's been able to grind off all the paint on our, on three of our snowboard rails. We have one rail left that Cody will start grinding on Monday. By the way, having an employee, someone helping is, it's so nice to have, to like, I had company come into town, so I couldn't work because I had company come into town. A lot of people are still coming to see Bristol because she's so little. And to know that like, the channel was still moving forward and things were getting done for the channel because Cody was here and he was working. It was like, it was so cool. Uh, so shout out to Cody guys. He's crushing it. Um, and like I said, he's doing a lot for the team Huffhouse Instagram. So go give the team Huffhouse Instagram a follow. Uh, and if you see Cody or you follow him, just say, thank you, dude. That, that dude's going to make this channel better, which I'm so excited about. So Ashley said, so, so there's no provider that'll help you get Wi-Fi. It's tough. I can get satellite internet, which is basically the same as um, my hotspot for the most part, which is tough. But like, yeah, we can't get like Comcast internet here, or Xfinity internet, whatever, like, which is the ideal. Um, Got to go with that Elon Musk uh, Starlink stuff. You know, you can only do satellite, which is really tough. Dude, uh, I've gone to Brighton in Utah, Jason. Brighton's sick. It's a gnarly mountain. Killington, Jay Peak, Stowe. I haven't done Stowe or Jay Peak yet. I can't wait to check them out. Since so I got two trips planned, let's go. Grand Targi gets 500 plus inches of snow each year. Uh, deepest pow I've had was to my nipples at uh, crystal light snow. Jason, that's sick. I can't wait to get out to Grand Targi. Count down the days till the season starts. 55 days. Hunter, if we count down the days, if Keystone does open on the 15th, I think there's 30 days this this month. 20 days till the season. Whew, that makes me scared. We still gotta get stickers made. Man, dude, we got a lot. Dude, you guys have been ordering evolution stickers like crazy, by the way. So thank you so much for everyone snagging evolution stickers. Westside Tetons. Dude, Jackson Hole was amazing. Rick says, two weeks off, Redwoods, California, then uh, Coos Bay area or went sand dunes riding side by side and then went fishing for salmon got big 30 pounder dude rick dude congrats on the sick two weeks off man you deserved it uh you work really hard dude appreciate you i appreciate the support you give to this channel uh in illinois headed to chicago then north carolina see and you were in oregon not too long ago you're all over the place dude that's so nuts to me that that you move around that much. That's a lot. Uh, Breezy says, do you really want Comcast though? No, I had Xfinity internet. That, was, that wasn't bad. I had it in my last place. It was it was killer. Sugarloaf, Killington, Stowe, Lake Placid, Whiteface. I've gone to Whiteface. Whiteface was sick. I haven't been to Sugarloaf though or Stowe. The North American model has 18 inches or over the next couple of weeks in the front range. Oh, 18 inches in the next couple of weeks. Let's go. As an East Coaster with an epic pass, I want to go out West. My foot's falling asleep. I'm sitting on it. Uh, is it better to go to Colorado resorts or Park City? Ooh. With the Epic Pass, go to Colorado. We have more options. Park City's not bad, but it's not the sickest. I have a Park City Resort review if you want to check it out. And it was, people said it was pretty active. Oh, there's Cody. You getting internet, internet up there? We're just talking about how I, we ran out of Wi-Fi on the iPad, so I'm literally reading the chat off the iPad. But everyone say thank you to Cody. He's out here crushing it, grinding his face off, literally with a grinder, getting these rails ready to paint 
Dude, the Team Hawk House Rails are gonna be gnarly. They're gonna be so fun. The backyard park's gonna be so fun. Have you ever rode in Alaska? Their resorts just got 14 inches of snow the other day. I have not rode in Alaska, but they got 14 inches. Let's make a trip. Let's head out to Alaska. Ty said, I got a house uh, on Beach Mountain. No way, Tyler, that's so sick. Saw the video last season, trying to make it back here this year or go to Sugar Mountain. No, I'm trying to go to the bottom three resorts, four resorts in North Carolina. I don't know if I'm trying to do it that this year, but that's on our radar, like possibly finishing North Carolina resorts. But we wouldn't go back to Sugar uh, Beach or App because we've already done them, Tyler. That's sick that you have a, a house on beach. Beach was so cool. It was one of the coolest days of snow I think I've ever had. It was so unique. It was like stormy and foggy in the morning and then it lifted and it was a bluebird day. And I don't know. The beach day was a ton of fun. Green Lab says, I think I can say because I live on the ice coast that the best resorts is Killington because there's just so much to do there. It was massive. Killington was huge. It had one of the best parks I've ridden in years. What do I think of the Epic Pass? Uh, I think the Epic Pass is sick. I think the corporation aspect of Vale is pretty rough. Like the slow patrol and they're, they're they buy a mountain and they kind of just fill it with corporate heads and they kind of suck the soul out of ski resorts. And there is a big difference between a Vale owned mountain and a mom and pop ski resort, especially like in the Midwest and these places where they absolutely just love skiing and snowboarding. It is different. Um, but it's not bad. I mean, we can't complain about $700 being able to ride like 68 resorts. Like that's pretty special. Peachy in the house. What up? How you been Peachy? Full blown evolution. I love seeing the full blown evolution. People have been supporting for a year. It's insane. Well, you need to be vaccinated to ski Breckenridge. No Ian, not to ski it, but if you want to go have a drink in the T bar or you want to sit down in the in the main lodge like the one ski hill place and whatnot or sevens restaurant you have to be vaccinated only to sit down at the restaurant you should still be able to walk into the ski hill grill and go get food and then eat it outside unvaccinated but you can't go inside and sit down without providing proof of being vaccinated Uh, Tempest says, I've never seen a speed limit on the mountain until I saw your video, then just so weird to me. Yeah, and it's funny, it's not even a speed limit, it's a suggestion, like, or like this is a slow area, but there's no speed limit posted, and you can't, like, I don't have a speedometer on me, it's so silly. Uh, what are ways to get better at snowboarding, Brian, the true way, and this is gonna suck, and be kind of cliche, but there's only one way to get better at snowboarding, and that's to actually snowboard. Um, you can snowboard with someone better than you or take a lesson or like come to my snowboard camp. Those are re really good ways to also get better at snowboarding because I can share the 13 years of snowboard knowledge with and give you shortcuts or get kind of open your mind to things. But really, really the best way to get better at snowboarding is to snowboard more. Uh, anyone else see the unstable dude Ali says, are you going to make a public itinerary of the resorts you will be visiting or come across or your list you do this year? Or do you just go on a whim? A hundred percent all a whim. It's like, what does my wife feel like we're, she's okay allowing us to do? What opportunities are presenting himself? It's all a whim. It's just like, shoot from the hip. We're going to North Carolina and now so we're going to the East Coast and all of a sudden we're going to to Washington and it's all like, we're just going with it. Tyler says, sick man, I always love some uh, Rocky Mountain powder, but badgers can't be, or beggars can't be choosers in the Southeast. Yeah, I, it's hard because if you, I mean, even in Park City, you're gonna get lift lines. So it's hard, Colorado gets really busy. So he says, hey, oh, Jonathan, just sent you a DM. It's Pato, so the sticker shout out. Oh, awesome, Sydney. I will check out the sticker shout out. Appreciate everyone that's snagging the Evolution stickers right now. Uh, I've been trying to keep up with the orders. Um, you guys are awesome. Alex says, I'll be moving out to Breck uh, Terrace. Oh, you're going to live in the Terrace. 
uh, to be working at Breck this winter to snowboard West Coast for the first time after skiing New England. Any advice? Okay, uh, be careful in the terrace. I mean, it's employee housing. Uh, I know exactly where you're gonna be, by the way, right off Airport Road. Um, just be be aware of your stuff and your roommates and everything. Don't get sucked into the nightlife, the party life of the terrace and Breckenridge if you are truly in it for skiing and snowboarding. I think you said uh, after skiing, I think you're a skier. So people just, when they go to Breck, they get stuck in this rut of their working and then they're just drinking and partying with the people that they're working with. And then they never end up actually enjoying the mountain and going and skiing and snowboarding. So just, just watch out for that, Alex. Um, Breck is awesome. There's a lot to do in Breckenridge. Uh, a lot of it depends on what job you're working to. It depends on how much fun you can have at Breck. Uh, rip it, dude. The mountain's fun. Make sure you ride a lot of the upper mountain. Oh, you're going to be snowing for the first time in Colorado and learning out there. Okay, so start on Peak 9. Peak 9 is a great place to learn to snowboard, Alex. When you get your days off from, from working and everything, go go uh, to Peak 9 at Breck, and that's where you want to learn to snowboard. You can ride Peak 8 too, but Peak 9 is a little more friendly. Do I have a place, favorite place to go night skiing? I would say Keystone is the closest to me. But let's be real, our favorite place to go night skiing is the Midwest because most of the resorts are only open at night. Like, come on. It's such a weird schedule when we go out to the Midwest because they're like, they only open on, uh, a lot of them only open at night. Sorry. Late night live streams come with yawns. Uh, I'm no longer a two planker. I'm, uh, let's go, Sam. You got the snowboarder. Fiji says Midwest. Whoop whoop, dude. I I really do love snowboarding in the Midwest. Like when Bobby's like, we could move to Wisconsin. I literally go. It'd be so good for for Roman and Bristol. They they'd actually get good at snowboarding. It's funny that I think in my head I'm like, oh yeah, to get my kids good at skiing and snowboarding, we should move to the Midwest and like make them ride tow ropes. That's how they're actually really get good at skiing and snowboarding. Kenosha gang. Yep, that's where my mom lives is in Kenosha. I really like that area of Wisconsin. The Rock. Dude, the Rock Snow Park. So cool. That's what I love about this channel. Someone asked me a really good question. They asked if, do I ever get burnt out or do I regret having this channel? Because I every day I go snowboarding, I film it and I record it. And I said, like, no, because the channel allows me to do more snowboarding than I ever thought I possibly could like heli boarding, going to the Midwest, going to the East Coast. If I didn't have this YouTube channel, there would be no point to do it. And I would not, the thing that I love most in life, which is snowboarding, I wouldn't have the opportunities to learn more about it and to do it in cooler places and all kinds of stuff. Like, I really love snowboarding, guys. I don't know if you can tell. Breezy says, Wisconsin, it is, or is it? Wisconsin would be, it'd be fun. It'd be cool to like, I told her we'd only live in Wisconsin if we lived on a ski resort, like ski in, ski out. That's my only, that's the only thing we can do. Uh, Nate says, try to keep my computer alive, says Nate. Uh, what do you do when you aren't snowboarding in the off season? My uh, season starts November 1st and I'm itching to get on the mountain. Nate, you could totally have watched it all summer long. I kept making videos. Now, we, uh, I mountain bike a little bit. I'm trying to get into mountain biking. I still snowboard throughout the whole summer. Like, it's not every single day like it is during the window, the during the during season. I can't check Venmo, Pe Peachy, so if you can just let me know what you donated and if you had a question or anything in the chat, and I'll give you a shout out that way. I just don't have the internet to check on my computer, and I have my phone kind of in broadcast mode, so I can't get any notifications or anything. I'm sorry about that, man. But dude, thank you for the Venmo donation. Um, it's a it's a little bit of a weird live stream. It's super late, and I can't use my computer. But we're making we're making lemons out of lemonade. Making lemon, yeah, we're making lemons out of lemonade, guys, on this live stream. Um, but also in the off season, I make some family videos. But mainly Hood, Mount Hood. We try to go to Mount Hood as much as we can. Um, we go to New Jersey in the snow dome. Like we just try to stay on our snowboard as much as possible. Uh, Geo Travel says, I recommend Stevens Pass. It's hard to get to small, but have, so we were going to ride Stevens Pass and I did not have, uh, 
a car that could get me there. So it is hard to get to. We're going to get to it. Dude, Peachy, dude, thank you for the Venmo, man. I'll check, I'll, I'll write you on Venmo, bro. I appreciate the love and support. Uh, dude, working hard, Peachy. You're the man. Uh, what is your biggest tip for riding shoots? Oh, I can't ride the blacks, no problem. I can ride blacks, no problem, but shoots scare the hell out of me. I'm learning to ride shoots, and they are scary. The biggest thing is to, to, and a lot of it depends on your pitch. If you're over a 55 degree pitch, like you really have to make sure when you make those, you go go slow. I mean, you can point it and head out, but you got to make sure what's on the bottom of the shoot is smooth and not super choppy and it's going to bounce you out. But the biggest tip is to ride them more. And that, that, like, that sounds so cliche to say, but that's a real thing. Like you want to get good at riding shoots, ride more shoots. I spent the entire springtime hiking the East Walladay Basin and riding a ton of shoots because I really want to get better at shoot riding. Um, having a snowboard that can put up with it, like a camber snowboard, um, will help. I did a shoot on my hybrid camber and it like went full U and like, it was rough. I put it on my Instagram. People were all about it. Um, but, uh, yeah, get in those shoots, ride them. A basin has plenty for you to drop. Alex says, I might go to big snow too. Just got to get a feel for the board because November feels so far away. You have to, Alex. Get to Big Snow if you can. But just so you know, Big Snow is closed right now. They had a fire in inside. One of the fan things caught on fire. Crazy. Uh, Jimmy says, how's Vail midweek in the beginning of the season? Uh, should be good. So Vail's at a pretty, like at a decently low elevation in Colorado. So it does get a little icy early season um, and a little firm, but it gets better. But mid-season's sweet because no one's ever there. Santana, good night. Everyone's going tonight. Midwest is lit, but later starts the season December 3rd. Yeah, Midwest is a late start and an early close. They do not have a long season in the Midwest. The Netherlands, let's go. Season six double backflip Peachy wants. Oh, Peachy. I haven't wrote the goal list yet. That'd be so dope. Heard of Mount Bohemia, Michigan? I have. I heard it's crazy. He, and you said it, it was crazy too. Uh, Mount Bohemia out here is really fun. Yeah, mid December is tough. Oh, we caught up in the chat. How we doing? How we doing, guys? We had a bunch of people jump off and go to bed. Look at these members, though, holding up the chat. We got members. We got green bars and red, red forms of the evolution all over the place. You guys are insane. All right, we're caught up with the chat. I know this was a late live stream. I apologize. Like I said I was doing some pretty cool stuff. Had a crazy busy day. Still have a big snow video to drop, but I think I'm gonna drop that on Monday. To, I think I'm gonna edit a, a reaction video I have. I have one more reaction video that I filmed. Um, mainly because I ain't gonna film an ad spot. Like this, this, this last, the last day at Big Snow, we put me and Cody, he's who's in the chat. We did a lot. That 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 it's gonna take a little bit, but uh, let me read these real quick. Nick says, Jonathan. And I both need to redemption on that tiny shoot, little North Narrows of the East. Oh, dude, Nick's. We do, we do need a redemption on that tiny shoot. That tiny shoot's getting rid in this season. Hundred percent, Nick's. Uh, Franklin says, "Hi, I'm new here. Do you think the Fourth of July of December? The or, blah, 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 blah. do you think around Fourth of December is a good day to snowboard? Vale, uh, Vale's tough in December period. A lot of people going for Christmas. So just be aware. It's going to be very busy. Um, snow in December can be hit or miss. It all depends on the snow year. Kevin says, but by the way, new here. Welcome. Welcome to team Hawk house. Uh, Kevin says to follow, uh, to follow up on my previous question, what is the best time to go to Colorado? I want to learn or I want to get, I want to get later in the season when, is full of snow, but don't want to wait in long lines. 
Uh, February is not bad, but March is my favorite month to snowboard in Colorado. If you can get in Colorado in March, you're having an incredible time. April's still pretty good, but it's really slushy in April. But March, whoo, can't be March. All right, guys. What do you think of the Burn Custom? I've never rode it, Ben, but it's been around for years. It's a solid board. Uh, do you know about the Cyber Monday Pass at Timberline? If you do, do you know if they're doing it this year? I don't know anything about that, Haley, sadly. All right, guys. Thank you so much for showing us live stream. Thanks for all the donations. You guys are incredible. Have a good night. Reaction video tomorrow, and then the last Big Snow video will drop, which it gets just, it's taking a minute to edit because there's like, a lot to it. And then once again, I'm training Cody right now to get him sped up for the season, but also he's grinding snowboard rails too. And like, dude, there's a lot happening behind the scenes of the Team Hawk House. I can't wait for the season six and all these other videos I got to film that we got to get made. And we got a lot going on. And if you can't tell by my smile, like I'm on, I'm stoking right now, even though I'm yawning also at the same time. Maybe the energy drink's kicking in. But uh, with that Team Hawk House, as always, Thanks so much for hanging out, talking with me. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow with another video.